Kelly Rowland walked out on the Today Show with Hoda and Jenna due to a small dressing room. Man, Kelly Rowland. So the Destiny's Child alum, alum was set to be a guest host on the morning show today with Hoda and Jenna filling in for Jenna when she showed up to the set and walked right back out due to a small size of a dressing room. Well, <laughs> due to the size of the dressing room. Okay. Well, okay. so hoping to accommodate the star, the show offered her several other rooms, but Roland and her team were not impressed, asking for a green room upstairs. That green room at the time, it was already taken by a guest of the show, Jennifer Lopez, who was there to promote her new album and movie, This Is Me Now. Dang. So, <laughs> Dang. Due, Dang. To, due to lack of options in space, Roland decided the gig was not for her and left the studio without a replacement for the guest host. Eventually, the show found a replacement, Rita Ora, to fill in the guest host spot. Now, I've just been informed by our great, great Anita yeah. that... um. Kelly had already appeared as a guest on the Today Show that same day, but was meant to return to the guest co-host spot 10 a.m., which was the 10 a.m. hour, which was the spot that Rita Ora took. So my question to you, my man, Junior, is would you leave a show for a small green room space that they gave you to occupy, you and your team? Would you just be like, you know what, man, I've done gigs bigger than this. I don't got time for this. Uh, honestly, it, it depends on the level. Okay, it so depends on the level because you know Kelly Rowland is is huge, she right? Is. So I feel like her being as big as she is and the things that she's done, you want to accommodate her and, and respect her and her team and her time, right? Right. Um, it just depends. How on what, big is this team, though? I, how big is the team? Like, is it like MC Hammer when he brought the whole team, <laughs> right. mama, daddy, and cousins? Right. Is it that big? Um, that's interesting because you know, uh, Dana White walked out on a podcast. Yes. Right. He walked out on a podcast. He's like, you know, I'm tired. I'm done. I'm, I'm leaving. And I don't know Mid if you've seen Hoda and Jenna, but they're not a small show. Like, no, they're big. They're bro. big. They're huge. Uh, it's just a, a miscommunication thing, yeah. possibly, and they probably be like, "Oh, they scrambled it. Let's put it here." And Kelly was like, "No, that's not for me." Kind of like going to a hotel. You went to a hotel that you booked. You were like, "I'm not staying here. This isn't what I booked for." I feel like it's like that. Um, I don't know, man. Kelly's a big time. I don't think it, it looks bad on her because you got to look at what does that room look like. Right. Maybe she deserved I, to walk out of there. Right. My question yeah. is, what does that room look like? And then, like, <laughs> I'm saying there, like, she did this show before. Why didn't you guys just? Put, put her back her, in the same her, room. Yeah, put her back in the same room. Yeah. But I'm wondering if that room was a room that she wanted that Jennifer Lopez got. And you know Jen, J, J Lo now. She a diva now. <laughs> she a diva. So the question is, is you got the <laughs> top tier rooms, J Lo or Kelly Rowland. Who's getting the better room? You know J Lo ain't giving up and, that room. But who you think they're gonna give it to? Oh, they're gonna give it to J Lo. Exactly. And I think that's, that's what happened. Yeah, and I think that's what happened. And I, I'm pretty sure. Just I'm speculating here. I'm thinking the room that she had when she came the first time was right. probably that room. And yep. she was like, "Oh, I want that room." And then they're like, "Nah, J Lo already took it." J she, Jennifer Lopez is she, already Jennifer here. Lopez already got it, and she was just like, oh, she felt slighted after she seen the room. After she seen the room, like no bueno. Not exactly. Not That's what I'm thinking happened, but that's only coming from your boy Francois the Great. It's I, not I coming agree, from man. anywhere else. All she had to do was hit up uh, B and J, be like, "They got me over here," <laughs> and B and J would have been like, "One second. <laughs> J hey, listen. Oh, there's a bigger question. If Beyonce calls right and says, "You got my girl Kelly in the wrong room. J Lo needs to move." Is J-Lo going to move? Man. <laughs> right? Mm. Is J-Lo is moving out the room based My. off the Beyonce call? Obviously, speculation. This will never happen, but it's fun to talk I, about. I don't... You know what? Like, my question is, does... Beyonce really even have ties to the morning show with Hoda and Jenna. Has she been on? Because if she's been on, then I'll be sitting there like, mm, yeah, she I, probably... I'm just, I'm just debating the star power. I, That's I mean, really the star what it is. Power, I mean... She could probably get her to move, but I mean, Jennifer Lopez is she's big Jennifer time, Lopez, and, big. and we also got to think we're gonna get into like s some new Jennifer Lopez later. But this is her first new album in a decade. Let's talk about it now because she's up. Let's okay, go, let's go. so so this is her first new album in a decade, and it's called "This Is Me Now." She's also got a musical coming along, accompanying that album as well. Um, her new single "Can't Get Enough" is heating up. Yeah. 
Uh, she got a, the remix with Lotto. Mm -hmm. You know, Lotto, yep. Lotto everywhere. Lotto, She's you working everywhere. big Lotto. Big Lotto. ATL, you working, girl. This nice spice and keeping it moving. Yeah. <laughs> She's doing her thing. She's doing her thing. Shout out to Lotto. Hey, Lotto, make up with Ice Spice. Make up with Nikki. Y'all ladies work it out. Come oh, on. What's, the, what's up with I the beef? Don't, I don't know. We'll, what's we'll going talk about on. that. But yeah, the J-Lo. We'll the J-Lo. How yeah. many years since she dropped? A decade. Wow. So it's been a decade. So you you figure, if you got someone that hasn't released music in a decade, they're yeah. coming to your show. Of course you're going to want to be like, hey, here's my big, big green room. Yeah, yeah. Have uh, it, girl. You know, so I, I get it, you know, but... um. 13 songs, man. Yeah. 13 oh, yeah. songs. Oh, yeah. Is, is that adequate to right now? Is that adequate? I think or do you so. need more? For, for Jennifer Lopez, that's very average for her because I've listened to a lot of her projects. Okay. Um, of course, my favorite one is On the Six. On the Six was her a debut. Classic for her. Classic, classic. Yeah. Um, this one, uh, she's still dancing. I um, I loved her SNL performance. She had an SNL performance just recently and she had Lotto on there and Redman. And Redman Red was a surprise because I didn't even know Redman and her were cool like that. So. Yeah. Um, he jumped on the track. It was such a great performance. She still is one of the top performers out there right now. I, I, I have to agree. Um, I don't want anybody talking about, uh, uh, excuse me, Jennifer Lopez vocally because you already know what you get from her, right? She's a performer, and I think how she sings is that's good for her. And you it know what? It works for her. Her, her vocals love it. Her vocals to me have actually gotten better they throughout gotten her better. career. Yeah, they have gotten better. So. I mean, people do get on her vocally. I mean, we've heard where she's not the only one. We've heard about Sierra. We've heard about some others. But yeah, like yeah. you said, when you can move like that and there's other things that you bring to the entertainment side of things, I mean, it's good for her. Yeah. And she does what she does and she's good at it. And that's where I'm going to leave it at. Yeah, exactly. I agree. With I, everything you said, she's great at what she does. Yep. This is her style. It's worked for years. She doesn't have to be Whitney Houston. And come on, hey, hey, listen, Whitney Houston couldn't dance like that. No. And I love Whitney Houston, but she, you're right. The intangibles of Jennifer Lopez is something that you have to recognize and respect. Right. Absolutely. Exactly. Yeah. So we're going to get to this is Jennifer Lopez. Can't get enough. Let's go. Let's go.